football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bengals and the reigning NFC champs. All that and more coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. No more distractions. It's time to get this one started as here we go. Super Bowl 61 is underway. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. On two, ready? Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. here we go, three here we go. yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. Seven yards there and a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Here we go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Burrow. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. An extra point by Patterson, up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Bengals drive about to get going. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. From the 30 on second down. Burrow. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, oh it's difficult God. because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
12 yards that time in a Cincinnati first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's got this down to the 35. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Mixon. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Here we go, here we go. 11, 11, 11. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon. 25 yards to the house. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know. But what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose. And that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think he might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Hurts. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes, spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Hurt, hurt. 
On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Here's Hurts to throw. And able to find Alan Lazard. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking okay, about ready. one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. They go play action with Hurts. He'll buy some time right. Throw right side caught by Davis. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A lot still to go here in Super Bowl 61. We have reached the end of one quarter of play. We'll be back in just a moment. Seven all is the score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. First and ten, it's Hurts. He'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that would get to be off target and incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Antonio Gibson taking it in from the 20. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Patterson now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Here we go, here we go. Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? To throw again on second down. Burrow. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And they get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This goes out wide for Mixon. 
And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. 68 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase from 19 yards away. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. offense set to begin their next drive and that last touchdown drive they had very balanced how key is that balance it's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run pass almost 50 50 but most of the times when you have the offensive coaches they say balance is we do what we want when we want to and that means that they're ahead of the defense keeping them on their heels they closed their will on that last drive so here's a first and 10 at the 38 Throwing his hurts. Throw right side, taken in by Gibson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Okay, break. Break the evil, The man in motion is Brown. On second down, a run with Gibson. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Let's go now. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Come back in. Come back in. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. 
They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. one complete that's A.J. Brown and he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and eight coming up. The tight end Henry here in motion. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he's going to be met at about the 43. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Once more, Gibson. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Ready, ready, hurt, hurt. They'll drop the throw. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses happen their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. Just short. He had it online. It ran out of gas at the end. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Boy, Brandon, a missed opportunity there at the end of this first half. You'd love to give your guys a lead going into the break. But this effort doesn't find the mark. And that's going to keep things all square. I'm wondering. Now Burrow on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Jenkins. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. 
They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You can wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to... Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take over here up near the 40. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent go, of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Burrow will throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there go, for a go. really nice game. Mixon with a first down carry. 89 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay go. upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. From the 38, Burrow. get the connection there it's incomplete but based on the play we just saw there he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps he certainly looks dialed in right now there we go. now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down on the delay it's Mixon. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 
12 yards that time in a Cincinnati first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the hole. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On second down, here's Mixon. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here go, here the eighth go. play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamai Chase, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point splits the uprights. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Take it in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play calling is working very well for them right now. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And the Bengals are going to get it back here just past the 35. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Well, it's personally just the offensive game plan. I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Right. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Once again, they run with Mixon. 
And some room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. We use the word relentless a lot with go, guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Inside handoff to Mixon. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. Here we go. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 141 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And that'll do it for the third quarter of Super Bowl. I'm one, ready? So first and ten now from the 30. 11, 11, 11, 11. Mix it up the middle. Room here to run. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bengals are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there. And at this point in the fourth quarter, Look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the 7. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Complete. It's Henry. And a healthy gain of eight here. They double their workspace out to the 16. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And he finds Austin complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Four yards the pickup. First down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what Taking it right down Broadway. The 40. The 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's to the right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. A short kick taken at the 18. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. One more, right? Out of 
the shotgun. They run with Mixon. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here we go. From the gun, a give to Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and the big yardage all night long. On third down, Burrow throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jenkins. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. Touchdown! Joe Mixon with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bengals are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. That one goes for 24 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TV. The part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort? to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. 
Instead, second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw. That's caught. He finds Danny Gray. And they're able to get this one across the 35. But first down, Hurts, eluding the pressure right. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Hurts, and for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. I'm wondering. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They try to eat some clock with Mixon. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Here we go, here we go. 11, 11, 11. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Here's a give to Mixon. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Boy, 194 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Bengal Nation rejoice! Cincinnati has given you the Super Bowl title. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Brooklyn, go see Shy Rock, Southside, C12, 911. Good to the reality.